Hi, my name is Alex and I'm a solution consultant for the Adobe Experience Platform. In today's video, I want to take you on a journey to better understand what the Experience Platform is, its purpose and design, and how it empowers your organization for a true customer-centric strategy. But before we start, I want to ask if you know what an everyday hairdryer and the next generation of futuristic robotics has in common? Well, the answer is quite simple and lies in a very small but a very important piece that serves as the entire backbone and is kind of the main reason why everything works as it should. Of course, I'm talking here about the motherboard. A single tiny card in the middle of a complex system acting as the central hub to connect, manage, and orchestrate with its surrounding. And nowadays, it is nearly impossible to think about any technical device without our little friend here. However, in today's marketing reality, things look a little bit different, as the latest MarTech analysis showed that there are more than 11,000 different solutions out there to learn or engage somehow with your customers. And every single one of them with the goal to provide the best possible experience in their specific domain. Crazy, right? Thousands of solutions only for marketing, where almost none of them are designed to address customer experience as a whole across the entire organization. No wonder that over time, a company's IT landscape is becoming a highly complex and overwhelming task to manage. And this is exactly what naturally occurs in every industry. You might start in the beginning with a specific use case on a selected channel. And as your company continues to grow and scale, so will your IT landscape as well. In the end, it always leads to our well-known data silos. Data is trapped in multiple systems and is not able to synchronize with each other, which will in turn lead to duplication of your profiles. And when things are going really out of hands, sure, a reasonable reaction is to pack all of the collected data into one storage lake. So it's at least in the same place, right? Kind of the problem is, this is not what the marketing side needs, since value realization of your data only starts when it can be used effectively to engage with the customers. So on this side, that's why marketing requires a holistic understanding of the audiences in order to deliver the next best message at the best possible channel and also at the right time. And please do not neglect the time aspect. Here we speak about the need for real time. There's no point in personalizing a landing page after five minutes when a customer only stays on average 50 seconds on a website. So I would say velocity is key. With serious investments over the last nine years, Adobe has been the industry's first open platform to address exactly this fundamental problem. With a scalable and future-proof experience layer, our so-called Adobe Experience Platform, we're able to harmonize your data to holistic profiles, always followed with a true end-to-end -end data governance to honor consent and data trust. And also important, it's not replacing your existing data lakes. Instead, it acts as a layer on top of it to connect IT and marketing in a way that always has been desired. In the next minutes, I want to dive deeper into the concept of our experience platform and its natively integrated applications sitting on top of it. These are Adobe's real-time CDP, the Journey Optimizer, Customer Journey Analytics, and our latest family member, the Adobe Mix Modeler. As I mentioned in the beginning of my video, the Adobe Experience Platform can be seen as such a motherboard, a central intelligence to gather, manage, and orchestrate all of your customer data in a marketing-friendly way. But let's build it up together step by step. Before we can even start to build our platform, we need a foundation on which the upcoming architecture is built on. Something like this, a raw base plate. Since day one, our platform has been designed on a scalable cloud infrastructure, which is optimized for speed and flexibility. Here, we are heavily backing up on streaming technologies like a global edge network, Kafka pipelines, or NoSQL databases to really support our real-time promises. Similar to conductive traces of a printed circuit board, the base of our experience platform runs on a flexible data model to seamlessly communicate across its ecosystem. It's like having one common language on the entire platform that we call experience data model, XDM. 
This model can be found on GitHub to foster a collaborative community for ideas and contributions. More details can be found down below in the video description. Now that we have our conductive lines, we need to ensure that our motherboard is able to communicate with your systems. And this means we need to extend it with open connectors. And this on both sides. First, we need connectors to feed the platform with all necessary profile data, so to say, the source of energy. And this can include data from website, mobile, CRM, warehouses, marketing automation, point of sale, call center, you name it. The same applies to the activation part of your profiles, leveraging our destination connectors right here. Now that we have the energy in form of profile data on our platform, it's time to do something with it. Similar to components like transistors or resistors or memory that usually sit on top of it to store, regulate and control the energy, the experience platform leverages the so-called platform services to refine and transform the data waiting underneath. Here we have, for example, our identity service, which stitches profile fragments together to form a 360 degree customer view. The segmentation service to easily create with drag and drop operations, dynamic audiences, our data governance service to assist your marketing team with a patent end to end labeling framework and our intelligence service providing a marketer friendly machine learning and Gen AI models like propensity scoring, lookalike modeling, or even co-piloting. Of course, we have way more of them, but I wasn't able to fit everything in this picture. As the platform looks now with the data model, the connectors and its services, you cannot really access the data at this stage. Here we need our platform applications to provide marketer friendly user interfaces to bring your desired use cases to life. All four solutions sit natively on the underlying infrastructure and are powered by the same data foundation using, of course, the same services as well. The first one is our real-time customer data platform. With the CDP application, you're able to create holistic and actionable customer profiles, group them in dynamic audiences to finally activate in your existing ecosystem for personalization where and when it matters. However, when we talk about one-to-one -one engagements in a true omnichannel way, then the focus is on Adobe Journey Optimizer. With its visual journey canvas, it allows for real-time interaction management and automated messaging across all channels to ensure a consistent communication. But engagement is not everything. Marketeers also need to track and analyze data trends over time. Customer Journey Analytics provides a workspace for comprehensive analysis and reporting, helping you to understand the entire journey from offline to online. This enables you to make data-driven decisions and optimize complete customer flows. And last but not least, our latest platform application, the Adobe Mix Modeler, which integrates AI-powered forecasting and multi-channel optimization to understand effectiveness on specific marketing budget investments to maximize your ROI. In the end, our experience platform acts here as a common space, uniting teams and departments with your organization and foster a shared understanding. By having a centralized place for collaboration on the same data, it empowers to communicate effectively with your customer base, breaking down silos and promoting a holistic approach. Now, I've given you an overall understanding of the concept of the Adobe Experience Platform and its four applications. And if you are further interested into more details, then please check out the video descriptions down below or click on the next video, which will appear at the very end. I hope you enjoyed the session. Have a fantastic day and see you next time.